A very warm welcome also from my side to our translational cell and gene therapy mini webinar series. And um, yeah, <clears throat> please acknowledge also our disclaimer here on this slide. And yeah, the agenda for today for um, the first part of this mini webinar series. First of all, we would like to um, yeah, introduce the path to CAR T cell therapies and um, have a look at your mission and uh, at your vision and our mission. Then we will dig into the translational research workflow um, followed by the clinical manufacturing platform, the Prodigy, and what's new there, what you can do with it. And um, then we also will have a summary and point out some helpful resources. So I would like to start off with a question today about your vision when it comes to CAR T cell therapy. I'm pretty sure that most of you have a very clear vision to move your CAR T into the clinic and successfully treat cancer patients. And yeah, during this mini webinar series, we would like to highlight how Miltony can support this very mean meaningful um, task. So as we you know, as we all know, the path to CAR T cell therapies is quite a long one, starting from basic research and discovery, including target identification and validation, as well as optimization um, and lead identification through the developmental phase, so the preclinical development, to several clinical uh, phases to a finally approved um, and marketed therapy. And pursuing this vision requires a lot of efforts um, and it needs to, you need to overcome challenges and it goes along with a very steep learning curve. However, this is doable and during the last decades, the field gained a lot of knowledge and by today already six CAR T cell therapies are approved. More than um, 1,150 um, CAR T cell clinical trials are ongoing and over 140 companies all over the globe have CAR T or TCR T cell therapies in their preclinical pipelines. So every phase comes along with different needs and it requires different and very tailored solution. And as Miltony is very active in the field of cell and gene therapy, especially when it comes to CAR T cell therapy, from early research to large scale clinical manufacturing in our cell factories, we exactly know about the hurdles um, as we are somehow um, our own customers, so to say, and um, we do save the same problems. And therefore we um, develop and produce tailored solutions that we are using in-house, but we also market them. And today we will focus on the translational research workflow as well as on the clinical workflow solutions. So this is basically the workflow we are following both in small scale research setting as well as in the large scale clinical manufacturing applying the TCT process. <clears throat> And yeah, today I will focus only on cells on, on the cell set part um, due to the sake of time. So from whom human blood products to T cells, there are different options published and are used. So for example, positive isolation of CD4 and CD8 T cells or untouched isolation using the PAN T cell isolation kits and some cult culture simply PBMCs with cytokines and dedicated media. And if you are in a research setting, this is all fine with pros and cons, but especially when it comes to, um, to try, when it comes, uh, when you envision to translate your um, workflow from small scale to the clinics to a large scale manufacturing, there are some points that you should consider. So, for example, are my results really reproducible? Are my reagents available in GMP quality? Is the isolation method that I am using and establishing in my research setting also translatable to an automated system? And is the clinical process already available? Is it established? Is it programmed on an um, automated system? And um, yeah, to meet all these challenges, so we in-house go for CD4, CD8 uh, T-cell isolation. And uh, yeah, here you have basically in a research setting two different options. The first one is via the PBMC isolation step, via, uh, via FICOL, and then you can use a one-on-one -on -one mixture of the CD4, CD8 microbeads. Or the second option is to go directly from blood products, skip the FICOL, and um, yeah, 
in only 30 minutes, you will get your T cells from blood products to CD4, CD8 T cells using the straight from CD4, CD8 microbead kits. And um, taking a look at the comparison data of the FICOL approach versus the um, straight from approach, you clearly see, I don't want to go into detail in this webinar series, but what is clear, what becomes clear is that um, no matter um, what approach you decide for in terms of T-cell activation, transduction efficiency, as well as um, regarding the function of your CAR T-cells, there's no significant differences between the two different methods. So. <clears throat> Um, they are really comparable, and what I also want to highlight is that 3 cd 4 cd 8 um, isolation, there is um, the, a very low um, variability between the donors that also underlines the reproducibility. And now I would like to show you why we recommend the CD4, CD8 T-cell enrichment at the beginning of our workflow. So by the CD4, CD8 uh, selection, you will start your process with a very well-defined and rich population of T-cells, um, which is key for a specific expansion and also higher reproducibility. And yeah, taking a look quick look at the data here. So we analyzed three different donors. Uh, um, we started with Buffy codes and by the CD4, CD8 positive selection, we increase the purity by reducing contaminating cells such as uh, they are listed here, such as granulocytes, B cells or um, monocytes. And um, by this, we also got enough T cells to ensure a robust and uh, reproducible T cell activation and expansion. Um, yeah, so to sum up this part, so um, a CD4, CD8 T cell isolation using the max microbeads, and you will start off with a well defined and rich population which provides a higher reproducibility for your downstream process. The CD4, CD8 microbeads are available in max GMP quality for an easier translation. And the positive T cell isolation is also compatible with our Clinimax Prodigy TCT as well as TCE process. And the Max Microbeads, they are already used in clinical CAR T cell trials worldwide. So, um, yeah, this was part one of the whole workflow, so the cell separation step. And um, what I also would like to highlight here is um, that we have some free resources available. So for example, if you scan the QR code here, you will be directed to our R&D research protocol. So this is basically the small scale TCT protocol to engineer CAR T cells. Then we also have a very nice application uh, page summarizing all the solutions and product highlights as well as scientific posters and our brand new um, CAR T cell research and discovery um, brochure. So with this, I am at the end of my talk. I thank you from my side already for listening and I will hand over to my colleague, Melanie. Thank you. I would like to continue with our clinical part. So we have the Clinimax Prodigy platform, which is supposed to tackle most common uh, challenges in the manufacturing part. So some of you might be aware, some not. So with the Clinimax Prodigy, you can really do the whole, whole workflow um, fully automated and standardized, really from cell um, processing, selection, activation, gene engineering, expansion, and then uh, also the final formulation and fill. And it's still flexible enough to um, adapt a lot of processes that you might have to the system. It reduces your costs because it's really fully automated and a closed system. It minimizes your time to market and delivers a consistent product quality since it is an automated system. And just recently last year, we added two modules to complete the platform. So now we have the Clinimax Electroporator available as well, which uh, will now integrate cell electroporation into the full workflow. And we also have now the Clinimax formulation unit available that now um, offers the possibility of um, final cell formulation and final fill um, to complete the whole workflow. And when we think about our T-cell manufacturing options, we already have quite a few to offer to you. So our um, most widely used one is our T-cell transduction system. It was already released in 2016 and it's really widely and globally used in clinical trials. Then we are working on a T-cell transduction large scale. It's currently under development, coming hopefully soon. 
and what we released last year together with the electroporator is our T-cell engineering process that now offers also the possibility for cell electroporation in a closed fashion. And last but not least, we offer a customized application service to customize your process on the device if we don't have an off-the-shelf solution, and that's on the mat. So let's start with our famous T-cell transduction system. So our Oclinimax Prodigy T-cell transduction system, this process offers you the possibility to select your T-cells from your heterogeneous um, starting material, for example, whole blood or buffy coat or leukophoresis. Then the T-cells are activated, they are transduced and expanded, and then can be harvested afterwards. And the good news, uh, news is that all the consumables that you need for the whole process, you can all um, get from us. So it's one purchase. And we have already a lot of experience with that process. So it was already launched in 2016. And since then, we have built two manufacturing sites where we are um, manufacturing for our clinical trials. And we use this application there as well. So we've already um, treated our first patient in 2018. And since then, it has been ongoing. Um, and like I said, last year, we extended the platform with the two new modules, the Clinimax Electroporator and Clinimax Formulation Unit. And of course, our customers are also using this platform quite widely. So this is a track record of so publications with our T-cell transduction system. And uh, what you can see is that there were a lot of publications in the last recent years about how to optimize the process and how to translate the process onto the platform. And now in orange, what you can already see are first publications of clinical trials. And of course, a lot of clinical trials are not uh, disclosed, um, but there are a few that I can share uh, with you. And those that you can see here, they're all using our T-cell transduction system. And of course, there are a lot of more clinical trials using our system, but we're not allowed to share any information there. So it's widely used. It's um, well established in the field and highly um, reliable. Now, what we would like to do is to scale up a bit more and for that, we will um, develop the T-cell transaction large scale on one glance. So it's planned to be available in summer 2022. And we have actually um, scaled up or enlarged the cultivation chambers. In our original T-cell transaction process, we were limited to 250 ml culture volume and around about 5 times 10 to the 9 of uh, T-cells in the end. And now we are with this new process, we are scaling up to um, 600 ml and um, expecting two times 10 to the 10th T cells in the end. So this will be available soon, hopefully. Then last year, we um, yeah, released our T cell engineering process, and this process includes the Clinimax electroporator. It's um, also now an automated and closed way to electroporate your cells. The tubing of the electroporator and the tubing of the Prodigy form one big closed system. The electroporator is controlled via the Clinimax elect, uh, Prodigy, and we can now electroporate up to 157 ml of cells, really large volumes as well. Our process that was released for the electroporator is called the T cell engineering process, and it looks very similar to our T cell transduction process, only that now in the gene engineering step, you could choose whether you want to do electroporation and or viral transduction. So you can do both or one of the methods to really go for complex gene engineering. And then what's also really a big advantage with our system is that you can really choose your electroporation parameters. So you can um, pulse your cells either with one pulse or with two subsequent pulses. And for the pulses, you can choose the voltage, the length, the mode, the polarity and burst length. So you really have full control over your parameters and can really optimize the parameters for your cell type and your um, gene engineering technology that you are using. And then last but not least, our customized application service. So this is currently the way to integrate your final formulation and final fill um, onto the platform. So we have the formulation unit released. It comes with a specific tubing set, the Clinimax formulation set, that already includes a waste bag, four product bags, and then four product or QC bags. We also offer Clinimax formulation and cryo kit. So these are buffers to either um, um, have a fresh out or frozen out product in the end. And um, 
you can program your um, process with our customized application service for the formulation unit. And um, of course, uh, this was just a really quick overview. So if you want to find out a bit more, you can visit our web page. And we have a really nice webinar from last year about non gene engineering. We also have a nice brochure for our generic or original CAR T cell manufacturing process. And for each of our applications, we also have application pages that you can visit to find out more. And with that, I would say um, stay tuned and you can follow us on different social media channels. So we're quite active there. And uh, usually if there are news, we will um, promote them there. And just to summarize this part, we would be very happy if you would choose us um, as your partner for your cell and gene therapy journey. Um, as uh, Saskia already showed very nicely is that we um, can offer research workflows as well as clinical workflows, and we make really the transition quite easy with our products. With that, I would like to close the session. Okay.